Okay, so now in this module, we are going to talk about document intelligence and knowledge mining. In the previous modules, we have seen image analysis, which was actually having a concept called OCR, Optical Character Recognition. Now, we have already understood that, that using Azure AI Vision, we can grab the text from the images. Somewhere, OCR is only going to be used for limited amount of text. While if you have full documents, especially the forms which you are using in your office and something like that, document intelligence is going to help you. And then we have something which is known as knowledge mining, which is helping you to search a proper content from the various documents and different kind of formats of data which you have stored with that. Let's check this one in this module. The agenda of this module is going to start with understanding Azure AI document intelligence, what this module and this concept is all about and then we are going to talk about Azure AI search which is a separate service for knowledge mining. After completing this module you'll be able to understand what is Azure AI document intelligence does and why organizations are going to use it and then what is knowledge mining and what problem it is actually solving. That's where we are actually focusing. Let's start with Azure AI document intelligence. Now, before I start this, let me tell you, earlier, this service was known as Form Recognizer. And then Microsoft has renamed this to Document Intelligence Service to reflect the AI in document processing. What this service is actually focusing is this. When you have a document, which can be a Word document, some kind of an Excel sheet, or maybe some kind of an office form, which is filled up by a human, this is going to help you to analyze the document. Document intelligence is automatically going to read, understand and analyze the business documents. It can explain that document intelligence is made up of three related services. First one is known as document analysis, which is actually going to focusing on return structured data representation. So whatever text, whatever images, whatever content which is written inside that document is going to analyze that. After that, you have to understand that it has a pre-built models associated with that to identify which kind of document is this is this an invoice or it's a receipt or maybe it's some kind of a customized form which is used only within your organization to identify that particular form you need to have a pre-built models associated with that this can have a model configuration done inside that and then the specific type of form which you are associating with your model is going to help you to recognize what kind of form you are processing. Obviously, these are pre-built models and if you are not having a perfect matched model with that, you can go with the custom models where you have to provide and train your model with multiple forms data. You have to provide at least five sample forms inside that. Based on those five sample forms, you can create a custom model and that can be used to further gather the information from the document intelligence service. Now let's talk about analyzing forms with the document intelligence service. Well, if you have never tried this kind of a service, I strongly recommend you to try one application which is available on your App Store and your Google Play Store, which is known as Seeing AI. Seeing AI is one of the Microsoft app which is available with document intelligence service. You can take any document, you can take the content from that and it's going to analyze that. It's not very full-fledged version of document intelligence service because it's a free app, but it's still worth a try. The document intelligence service does more than just detecting and extracting text. It enables you to use models that understand the form fields. For example, maybe identifying a specific type of data such as addresses, phone numbers, date, times, and quantities and is also understand the relationship between those fields labels and values like you can see here we have one particular document which is having a title north wind traders then inside that we have some products like apple orange and then we have some price associated with that somewhere below that we have a subtotal text and total calculated based on that now looking at this particular document the document intelligence service will understand that this is some kind of a receipt for a particular shop. It is really smart to understand that which one is a shop name, which one is the address of that, what kind of a field is holding a date, quantity 
or as well as what kind of a field is actually holding some kind of a price or text calculated for that. This is something which document intelligence is going to be capable of doing. Now document intelligence also use OCR internally. It is the main foundational technology to extract structure or text kind of a thing from this kind of a document. But remember here in document intelligence service extracting the structure identifying the relationship between the key value pairs and organizing that in a more document centric insight is going to be the main focus while in OCR it's just going to retrieve the text so somehow this is an enhanced specific usage of OCR which is used inside document intelligence service now in order to use this you need to go to document intelligence studio same like Azure AI Vision Studio or Language Studio, we have a Document Intelligence Studio, but this is one of the studio which will not allow you to try the demos without subscription. Earlier it was allowed for everyone, but now if you have an active Azure subscription, then only you'll be able to try most of the demos of Document Intelligence Studio. So I request you to just understand this as of now, and if you have a subscription, then you can try some of those demos. If you don't have, then you can just understand this is going to be same like another studio which is taking care of the demos and the configuration which you can do. Now using a no code approach you can explore the functionality using samples and your own documents inside that. You can create resources either through document studio or in also from the Azure portal also. First you need to create this kind of a resource then you have to configure a document intelligent resource with that. The AI service resources will be enabled with that and then once you do that thing then enable the resource in the document intelligence studio so that it can be used with that. Now at the end of this process at the end of the configuration if you're using subscription I should remind you that once you're done with the demo once you're done with the document intelligence service do not forget to delete it. You can go to the getting started page which is visible at the right side and then you can select a particular model. There are so many pre-built models which are available. You can choose one of the models from that and you can try it. This is the link which is a link for uh, extracting a data from a document intelligence studio. Um, you can just put this link in your browser and you can try that. But remember as I said you need to have a lab access or you need to have an active Azure subscription.